Hi there, everyone. How are you? It is B, and this is Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be the Psychic Tarot for the week commencing on the 22nd of February. Now, what I want to let everybody know is that I'm going to do this a little bit differently. All right, I'm going to pull one card for each of the elements. Then I'm going to pull a psychic download for each of the signs within those elements. I feel that this is going to give you a lot more uh, poignant information, direct information, focused information. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Please make sure that you are subscribing, you are sharing these videos, and you are commenting below. Really appreciate it. Uh, basically, what's happening here is it's so interesting because um, at first it was like, you've got to subscribe to be notified, and then people were being knocked off the notification. And now it's like the comments are, are being blocked. So if you don't see your comment when you come back onto my channel, then try to comment again. Because uh, the thing about it is, is that it's based on the number of comments. And I know for a fact that I have a lot of viewers, like a whole bunch of viewers. And when you look at the amount of views I have, it's practically nothing. And I'm like, I can't even believe this. This doesn't even make any sense to me. So anyway, just do what you can to support the channel through the um, en engagement. Okay, that's all I'm asking. And for those of you that would like to get a membership to my website, make a donation to my channel or to potentially get a consultation with me, the links are below. We're gonna get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. For the week commencing February 22nd of 2021, we're gonna start off with beautiful earth signs, then move on to air, water, and then fire. A couple more shuffles. Yeah, when I shuffle, you may not want to look at the camera because the camera is going to wiggle due to the fact that um, uh, it is that the camera itself is through my laptop. It's actually on the table that I'm shuffling on. So just bear with me on this one, okay? It'll change soon enough. I went off grid with my boyfriend this weekend and... Um, we just went to a little hotel about an hour away from here and do not disturb sign. <laughs> yeah, we both needed to get away for a little while. All right, but I'm back now catching up on everything, emails, such and such. So here we go. All right, earth signs, put your energy into the deck. All right, cutting the deck. What is your card for this upcoming week? Wow, this is great earth sign. This is the six of wands for you. Love it. Okay, so let's talk about the six of wands. This is victory. This is getting something done. This is a successful completion of a project that may have been a little bit difficult, that may have been a little bit confusing, um, possibly could be related to Mercury going direct now in Aquarius. So that could certainly be happening here. Mercury just right now is direct in Aquarius. So for those of you earth signs that have um, your sixth house activated by the Mercury going direct, this is going to affect you quite profoundly and quite beautifully. All right, in this upcoming week, you're gonna hear news, you're gonna hear stuff. It's gonna be about every day. It's gonna be about the details. It's gonna be about your reputation in the world, all of that. Now, this could also be where you are celebrating with a group of people or a group of people are celebrating with you um, a winner type mentality, meaning that you know, you're know you leading the charge or someone else is leading the charge. Someone has been successful. Either you or someone around you is going to be very successful and they're going to get a lot of accolades. So that might be you or someone around you. The sixth house also deals with Virgo energy. So a Virgo person may have something to do with this. But like I said, it's more of the Virgo type energy where it's kind of like paying attention to the details, um, you know, doing a really good job, being really, really thorough, being of service. Someone is being of service and it's it's truly, it's almost like it's kind of a reciprocal type of thing where someone helps you, you help them. Someone helps you, you help them. That's what this energy is all about. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my crystals in here. And I'm going to see what I get for uh, the psychic downloads. This is beautiful general energy to have around you for the upcoming week, 
earth sign. So let's start with the Capricorns. Capricorns, what do we got for you? Capricorns, you're putting a lid on something. You're closing something up. Something's done. Something's completed. This is definitely applying to you, Capricorns, because something is happening here where there's a project that needed to be complete, completed. Something needs to put a lid on it. So this could even be for some of you out there. Um, someone needs to be quiet right now because um, it has something to do with how something is culminating through its journey. Okay, so it's almost like you can't talk about it until the right time is what I'm hearing. So it's almost like it's kind of like classified or it's secret or something like that. So you have to kind of keep your opinions to yourself or your your activities or what your plans are to yourself because if it got out, it would ruin, maybe ruin the surprise or it would ruin the outcome, okay? But overall looking really good Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with the beautiful Taurus. Wait a minute, I got something more for Capricorn. Sorry, Capricorn. Um, you are going to be instrumental, Capricorn, in um, exposing someone as a winner, as a leader, uh, as a representative, as someone who can lead the charge, get the job done. You are going to be the one that gives the accolades, okay, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you. You're going to be the one to actually give the accolades. You're going to say, you know what, this person really needs to be celebrated. All right, Capricorn, so that might be going on with you. So let's see what's going on with the Tauruses now. <laughs> Taurus, something happened in your life where either you or someone around you kind of created an environment, okay? And it's almost like you're looking at this environment like it's your creation. It's 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 what you have worked so hard to create. It is, you know, the fruits of one's labor, okay? And you are you do have that energy around you, but what I'm hearing here with the Taurus is, is have a little bit of caution. Make sure that the person that has helped you build this empire, build this business, build this whatever, have a successful project completion, being celebrated for something is recognized. I mean, this is about recognition. I'm really hearing that for a lot of the earth signs. So make sure somebody is recognized. Make sure that um, you, know, you hand out the kudos, all of that. Make sure that people are recognizing you as well. If you have to kind of get out there and kind of toot your own horn, you know, maybe that's something that you want to do as well. But there's something here about a job well done for you. And it's like you're looking at the finished product, okay? Whereas Capricorn is working towards that and supporting someone and, and making sure that someone else gets recognition or ensuring that, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Your Taurus one is more of, if that piece has already happened, now you're looking at the final product and it's like, wow, okay? So when people come up to you and they say, wow, what a great job, that is important for you to recognize that it wasn't just you that did it. So there is a level of selfishness here that needs to be put to the side, okay? It's an ego thing. It's a selfish thing. You may have people around you, Taurus, that are really kind of egomaniacs. They're really self-centered. And just, I really think something's coming up here where um, it's not going to be tolerated, okay? It's not going to be tolerated by you. Um, maybe it will be by you, but it won't be by somebody else. It's just kind of like, look, I know what I'm worth and I'm not going to sit here and kowtow to anybody. Okay, so that's what your energy is this week. It's actually really, really good energy if you use it right. Let's get into the Virgos. Ooh, Virgos. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What have you got going on with the girlfriend, the boyfriend? Who are you showing off? Because I don't know if you're bringing somebody home or it could be anything that you're bringing home. It could be it could be a new car. It could be a pet. It could be a new girlfriend, a new boyfriend. It could be something that you made, something that you put together with your own hands, and now you're 
you're you're absolutely like gloating about it. Like you want to show this thing off, whatever it is. So this is about being a show off Virgo. So Virgo, in a, in a good way, you're just really excited to share what it is that you want to share with the world. And you're excited about your choices. You're excited about, wow, what a great job. What an awesome thing this ended up being. I want to show it off now. Or what's happening here is that someone around you is a little bit of a show off. So you just want to be careful of that, uh, Virgo, but that is coming up for you. And I think that's what we've got for the psychic downloads and the cards for the beautiful earth signs. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the air signs. Air signs, what have we got for you? Air signs, what have we got for you? And yes, this is going to be the same format that I'm going to do all the extra um, extended psychic tarot for the members, okay? Just add it to this one, members, all right? Air sign, air sign, air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Energy into the deck. Cutting the deck. Your card, air sign, is, oh my gosh, the Nine of Cups. I told you guys, like, this week is, like, somebody is getting their spiritual justice, the recognition. They're going through a level of awareness that is just like, oh, my gosh, I, I don't need to be sent out to the pasture and shot, okay? This is, this is gorgeous energy to be part of this week. So here is the Nine of Cups. This is wish granted. This is all good things. This is entertainment. This is... um. You know, uh, this could also be a really successful uh, webinar or meeting at work. Definitely showing your wares, showing your wherewithal, showing your skills. All right. So, air sign, you might be showing some skills. Uh, the thing is, is that whoever you're showing these skills to, whoever's part of the receiving end of these skills, of this hard work that you put in, very, very grateful. This is a very grateful card. And this may have something to do with the ninth house, okay, air sign. So what is the ninth house? The ninth house for you, um, well, not the ninth house for you, but the ninth house in general is um, ruled by Sagittarius. And so there might be a Sagittarius person of great significance in your life. But this could also mean foreign people, foreign lands, travel, people, politics, legal, law, the occult, higher education, instructing, training, um, snake oil salesmen, uh, looking at the bigger picture, being an optimist. All right, those are the energies coming through with this energy, with this nine is awesome. Absolutely awesome. This means whatever it is that you're doing this week is somewhat mulchul, mulchuly, uh, mulch. Are you guys getting like mulch ready for something? <laughs> Maybe you're looking at your uh, all of the snow that is melted around you and you're like, wow, I need to get some mulch. I'm going to go pick up mulch at freaking Home Depot or whatever at Lowe's. But anyway, this is mutual mutual satisfaction this is reciprocation is what i'm hearing this is feeling this is a feeling of value it feels as though i am of value and they are of value and this is a beautiful thing again entertainment's coming in pretty big here there might be a lot of drinking a lot of wine drinking uh here in the upcoming week my beautiful air signs or some sort of celebration um you know, this could be liquid of any sort, air sign. So what, I mean, these could be cups of liquid that are maybe, maybe you've got cups of liquid in your kitchen, in your living room or, or something like that, but cups of liquid. And the thing about it is, is it, there really could be anything in these, in these vases or in these, um, these chalices. Okay. They're like chalices. And there could be all different types of fluid in there. Um, it could mean that maybe you're going on to some sort of um, maybe smoothie diet or maybe you're adding smoothies into your life or you're going through a detox, which you're using detox drinks or something like that. But it's definitely coming through here. 
but someone is really, really proud of what it is that they've accomplished. They are being celebrated. It's like it's like it's your birthday, okay? And and Aquarius is maybe you just had a birthday, but um, Gemini's and Libras, this could also feel as though even though it may not be your birthday, it's it's like it feels like it's your birthday, <laughs> okay? It really does because things seem to be turning out quite well. All right, let's get into the psychic downloads for each of the signs my beautiful Aquarius is what do we have for you yeah Aquarius is I actually do see you weighing things out now this could be weighing things out as do I go left do I go right or this could be weighing things out like you're weighing out your food, you're weighing out your fluids, you're like, okay, I can only have four ounces of wine, I can't have eight ounces of wine. This may have something to do with a detox, or this may have something to do with a health situation you're in. But weighing things out also means, um, am I gonna do this now or am I gonna do this later? Am I going to put more energy over here as opposed to over here? That could be, like someone might be coming up to you and saying, hey, um, you know, we've got this, 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 and this, so um, we need all this done right now. And you're like, no, I got to triage. I got to triage all of this out. Now, you are going to be successful with all of your projects and your endeavors. All of it is going to be successful, but you've got nine cups back there. You can't do them all at once. You have to do one cup, then another cup, then another cup, then another cup. And I think what this card is telling me for you is to manage your time, manage your energy, triage, make sure what is important is being taken care of as quick as possible. And that which is not so, imp not so important, you can just kind of hold off on that for a little while. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. So just triage everything. Prioritize. All right. Okay, let's get into the beautiful gems. Gemini, Gemini, Gem, Gem, Gemini. Ah, uh, Gemini, you're flaunting it. I don't know what you're flaunting, but you're flaunting something. Um, there might be a little bit of vanity that could be coming in here because you have been vindicated. And so the thing about it is, is whether it is a small thing or whether it is a big thing that you're being vindicated from um, or vindicated of or about, uh, this puts a little bit of ego in your step, a little bit of swagger in your walk because you feel as though um, there was maybe an unfairness or there was an understanding or an awareness that if I don't love myself, if I don't treat myself the way I deserve to treat myself, if I don't admire what I have now, so instead of complaining all the time about what I don't have in the present, I'm actually living in a gracious state of present energy. It's like you're truly appreciating what you bring to your life. And it's almost like you're celebrating yourself. And this is just, this is putting a little bit of sway in your swagger. It is, for sure. Okay, so um, looking good, Geminis. Looking good. Let's see what we got going on with the beautiful Libras. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this, Libras. Um tick tock the mouse ran up the clock the clock struck one the mouse ran down hickory dickory dock um so some of you libras might be talking about nursery rhymes or there might be something happening regarding children um in your life maybe there is a child that is about to have a birthday that you're getting ready for a birthday for a child um or a a friend that um, is going to hold a birthday party, but they've got kids. Uh, something about kids and birthdays, but it could also, the clock may mean something. So let's break this up, okay? 
So the mouse, you, you might have issues with mice, Libra. I'm just going to let you know. You might be talking about mice, some issue with mice. Um, so the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. So, so the clock struck one. So that's a big bang. That is a big, um, that is a big noise. Okay. And then the mouse ran down. So you got to go. It's so interesting because remember, um, for, I think it was, it was for one of my random daily with bees. I think, no, it was for the weekly reading for the 15th. It was for the weekly reading. And I said, turbulence ahead. Did you guys hear what happened with the United? One of the engines blew up in air, like 3000 feet, I think it was, or 2000 feet. And they had to land again. The whole, that, that whole side of the engine just blew up. I mean, that's the thing, guys, when I, when I pull in these energies, it's like you, you have to pay attention because turbulence is an, an airline type of, of energy. And that was probably scary for a lot of people. And that happened this week. So turbulence ahead, that's exactly what happened. So, um, so anyway, I'm sorry. I, I got distracted by that. But so there's somehow like this big bang, a need to go down, a need to, to go back to a safe location, okay? So Libras, maybe maybe there were Libra pilots on this plane. I don't know. But um, maybe you're talking about it, Libras, or something like that. But anyway, this means time also. So at a certain time, like there's something going on this week that needs to be done at a certain time. And if you get it done by that certain time, you're going to be celebrated. That's what this is. And it's almost like something kind of shakes you out of your stupor or it um, it wakes you up like really quickly, like it jostles you, like it's a reminder buzzer or something like that. And you've got to get something and you get it in just under the wire. And it's something that is, um, it's going to turn out well. But if you miss the time, if you miss the time, then um, then you're going to miss it. You're just, you're going to miss everything. It's almost like this nine of cups comes in and says, you're the only one at the meeting because you missed the meeting time. Okay. You're, everybody else is gone. They were there, but now you're waiting for everybody and, and you get a text on your phone and they're like, um, we already met. This meeting was for nine and you didn't show up until 10 and you're like, oh my gosh, I thought this was, you know, 10 o'clock. Central Standard Time or 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And they're like, no, it was 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? So it's something like that. So make sure you're watching um, Central Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, Pacific, whatever. Make sure your meetings are on time because I feel like someone's going to a meeting where everybody's already left because somebody was late or somebody's coming in early and people have not gotten there yet. <laughs> All right, so use your time wisely. But there's that uh, information there for you. But overall, it looks really good. If you can make, uh, if you can make it, and you can be prepared for it, and uh, you don't miss the meeting or you don't miss the deadline, you are going to be celebrated. Absolutely. But you have deadline issues, so just make sure you prioritize. Okay. All right. That's what we have for the air signs. Let's see what we got going on for the beautiful water signs. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What do we got for you? All right. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Go ahead and put your energy into the deck, please. Cutting the deck. Your card is the Ace of Cups, Scorpios. Wow. Pisces. Cancers. Look at this. All right. Ace of Cups. Okay. So let's take a look. I think at the Peace Dove. Someone might want to be calling a truce or wants to bring peace back to a situation. Someone feels as though an awareness or a revelation about a situation now allows them an opportunity to approach people or uh, even situations, okay, 
that may have been a little bit off kilter, okay? May have been a little bit off kilter. You might be dealing with people that are very overly emotional. You might be overly emotional or people around you might be overly emotional. But this could also be a gift of love. Like somebody did something that was very loving and very kind and very, very thoughtful for you. I mean, really, really thoughtful. Okay, it's really beautiful. And um, just, a, a, just a beautiful gift. There might be something going on with pools or water. Water sign that you're going through here as well. This might be drink more water. There might be something going on about leaky valve syndrome for some of you out there. So um, usually that seepage within the interstitial layers of the, um, you know, just right under the skin and right outside the muscles and it tends to cause puffiness. So some water signs might be going through a little bit of puffiness or maybe you need to flush your system out, okay? And you may need to flush something more than just your physical body. You may need to flush an engine or flush flush the toilet. Okay, so something might be coming up about flushing the toilet. Maybe you've got a backed up toilet, something going on with plumbing. You know, water signs, we always we always go through the water issues. It just is what it is. But we can also solve water issues because we rule water. But um we tend to make water work for us when it's necessary. Or we can fix water situations really quickly. Water signs are known for that. Um, but anyway, so there's just this lovely, lovely energy, this love, this favorable outlook, this, this peace, this offer, this offer of love, this offer of emotion. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, <clears throat> this, uh, it's so interesting. So my boyfriend and I were off grid this weekend. He surprised me with a five-star restaurant or a five-star uh, hotel with a five-star restaurant. And um, we had to travel to get there, obviously. But what I find so interesting, this hotel starts with the letter W. And it has birds associated with it as part of its um, insignia, okay, of the hotel. It's a, it's a historic hotel. And um, it was just absolutely wonderful to stay there. And so I see that this is how this is coming out for me. And it was it was through an act of love. It was through an act of kindness. I mean, he surprised me with it. I got there and I'm like, this thing is gorgeous. So we had a very, very nice weekend off grid. Um, and I call it off grid. No, a lot of people say off grid is like in the middle of a forest somewhere. I call off grid when you just you just get away and you don't let any outside distractions get, get at you. All right, let's get into the wonderful energies of water signs. Let's start with Pisces. Happy birthday month, Pisces. Okay, let's go. Pisces. Pisces, there's something going on with jewelry for you. Um, maybe it's like a drop necklace, kind of like the way that like a lot of beads drop bead necklace. It kind of looks like that in my mind. Um, but it looks like like pearls or something about this jewelry, like it holds a certain type of energy to it. Um, that it's it's really helping you out. Crystals, a lot of crystals. This is not uncommon for, for Pisces people to be completely in love with crystals. I'm just going to be honest with you. But but that is that that's what I'm getting. Anything, anything uh, having to do with um, spiritual, holistic, like candles, crystals, uh, singing bowls, uh, gongs, all of it is, it's just what I'm getting here. Because if you kind of look at this, I, when you look at that uh, wafer, okay, some people would call it the Eucharist, uh, or the body of Christ. So there might be something going on with the body of Christ for whatever reason. But you know kind of how it's hanging down like that? It, it's kind of gong-like in a way. But I'm just I'm just getting that. I, I think that if um, if this is something that is that you're thinking about, um, you're thinking about maybe removing some sort of negative energy in your environment through crystals, selenite wands, uh, vibrations, 
um, tuning forks, whatever it is, tuning forks. Somebody's tuning something, tuning an instrument. That could be um, okay, Pisces. There's this video out there, and I want you to watch it. And it, it just popped into my head. There is a video out there where they photograph the vibrations of water and what they look like when certain phrases or certain words are expressed through the voice box, like love, um, happiness, and then fear, you know, and it's so interesting. You can actually see the water change into this really ugly looking formation when it is a negative word, but when it's a positive word, it's just gorgeous. So I don't know if it's fake or not, but maybe you, you're just interested, just take a look at it because there's something about it, maybe Pisces for you, is that you want to put out as much loving, unconditional energy as possible while still maintaining your boundaries. Okay, that might be what's going on with you because you're kind of shining right now, Pisces. It just it just is what it is. All right, so just be aware of that. There's a lot of love coming at you, Pisces. A lot of love. All right, let's get into the Cancers. Cancers, what do we got for you? You know, cancers, it's interesting. Um, I do think you do have to check your plumbing, okay? I, I do think you have to check your plumbing. But the other thing I heard was a slamming door. So you might be slamming the door on someone or someone might be slamming the door on you. This is about privacy, okay? You know, cancers, you might be going through an emotional state in your life or maybe somebody else is. Maybe you're you're the, the comforting, the calming, and the supportive one. But it it feels to me like somebody needs to get their emotions out. It's like it's like it's been blocked for such a long time. It's just like bleh, it like it just comes out this week. And so if anybody, if you feel like anybody's around you that's about to blow like Mount St. Helens, somebody by the name of Helen might be a, of great significance. But um, you may want to give them their space and just say, you know what? I know you're going through a lot. Just go ahead and yell, scream, scream into this pillow if you want. I'll come back in an hour and maybe we can have a more um, respectful dialogue about what's going on here. Because there's a lot of emotion and there is something going on with the pipes for sure. This could be your own pipes, cancer, GI problems, poopy problems maybe for some of you, constipation, diarrhea, yeah, it is, incontinence. All right. But the thing about it is cancer is that nobody can take your love from you. And that's what's so beautiful about your energy right now is that you're so gracious and you're so grateful and you're so thankful that it's like, even though you might be going through that around you, um, it's like you've got the grace of God and you're finding happiness in the little things. You're going to the cupboard or you're, you're going to the, the freezer, the icebox. You're getting out your favorite Ben and Jerry's and you're just kind of sitting there watching your favorite movie. And you're like, you know what? I can't control this. I can't control this anyway. So why would I get overly emotional about what people, what their issues are? It's not my problem. And I'll help them if I can. But right now, it's Ben and Jerry's time. Just letting you know. Somebody by the name of Ben or Jerry could be coming up as well. So Helen, Ben, or Jerry might be um, coming up in some of your guys' lives, okay? All right, let's get into Scorpio. Scorpio is what we got going on for you. Mm -hmm. 
Scorpio, is somebody getting food poisoning or did you just have food poisoning? Something like that. I am actually seeing somebody vomit. Okay. That's what I get from this. And it's like, um, it's like you have to purge something or something's being purged out of you. Um, this isn't a bad thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Scorpio, you rule the underworld. You deal with a lot of life, death issues all the time. You, you, you just deal with it. This is like an exorcism. Okay. You're going through some sort of revelation or awareness in this week where you feel as though you're purging something out of you. Now, this could be done in several different ways. You could be sweating more. You could feel like you're kind of icky stomach. You could feel like you want to cry more. You could feel like there's something within you that needs to be pulled out. Okay, now this could be actual physical, like you could be going to the doctor, the dentist, whatever, and you're getting something physically removed, pulled out, something with a root in it. It's like, it's bleh, and it's coming out, okay? But it feels like very exorcist. It feels very, you know, um, you know, out Satan. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to make it that extreme, but this is something that you've been trying to get out of your system for a while. It feels to me like because you're getting love from um, another arena, okay? Like Scorpio, something may have happened here where you have um, you have existed up to this point through a filter of how love should be. And it's like this week, something happens. It could be, it could last two seconds. It could last two days. It could last two hours, whatever it is. Someone shows you a beautiful kindness. It's just a beautiful kindness. And it's as though it's an elixir that removes some sort of weird way you have viewed the world. So love is healing you, Scorpio. Love is healing you. And I hope this is for every Scorpio that listens to this. But I know it's only going to be for some of you. But it feels as though you just like, I just, you just had some view of it. And there was this nasty toxicity way, 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 way down deep. And you're just, all of a sudden, this, this beautiful moment of just grace and love, it's as though it's this, this toxic energy is being purged out of you at that point. Oh my gosh, yours is really, really deep. Philosophical, emotional, um, spiritual, and just absolutely detoxifying. I hope this is you, Scorpio. This is really, really beautiful energy for you. So this could also be where you finally stop having those bad dreams. Your dreams are more about love, about kindness, about joy, um, abundance, you know, having favor, all of that. So um, somebody might be doing you a really nice favor or giving you just a really, really nice compliment. And it just makes you feel like you want to cry. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you know. I mean, it is. It's just one of those things. It's just coming up here. All right. Okay, what a beautiful card for the water signs. Now we're going to get into the fire signs. Fire signs, what do we got here? Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One more shuffle. Energy into the deck, please. Thank you. Your card is, ah, the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles comes in here and it's a lot of hard work, a lot of detailed work. You're being called on to do a lot of detailed work, fire sign. 
This is um, reproducible, repetitive, and accurate. That's what this is. You might be doing a lot of work in the home. You might be doing home renovations. You might be fixing things in the home. You might be hanging things on the wall. Um, this is apprentice energy. So you may be an apprentice or someone may be an apprentice with you. Um, definitely coming up here. Uh, working hard to bring more money into your life. That is what this looks like to me. Fire sign, there's a, there's a need to prop something up. Maybe you need to prop someone up or someone needs to prop you up. And this could be related to money. Maybe you're getting propped up through a raise or you're propping somebody else up by giving them a raise. But this could also be value, self-value for you. Hammers and nails, hammers and nails, contract work. The eight energy is about that scorpionic energy. All right. So that's all about, you know, joint finances, intimacy, uh, the underworld, sex, death, rebirth, investigations, jealousy, possession, obsession. Diving deep for sure. So that energy might be around you right now for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, fire signs, I would watch out. I'm, I'm just going to say this. If you're dating a Scorpio right now and they're getting too possessive of you, um, you might want to put your boundaries up just a little bit. I just saw that, like, it may be somebody who's a Scorpio. They have Scorpio-like characteristics. They're like, I want to, like, carve my name in your on your arm, Okay. That's kind of a, a, a control possession type thing. So you may want to rethink about how you're going to get yourself involved with that person, fire sign. But it could also be an imprint. So there might be something going on with an imprint in your life. Like you've had this like repetitive imprint in your life, fire sign, that you just kind of want to get rid of. You don't want it to affect you anymore. You don't want to attract that imprint anymore. Um, there's something going on with budgets here as well. Like you're willing to give only so much uh, based on current circumstances because um in other cases, uh, the money shouldn't be touched, okay? Something about money that shouldn't be touched or allocating money is what I'm hearing. Fire sign is like you're making more money in some cases but not others is, is what this kind of feels like to me. You're finding new ways to make money. That's what I'm hearing. All right, let's get into the beautiful Aries. What's going on with you, Aries? Aries, something's going on here in your life where there's something about uh, supply and demand. Okay, um... Like somebody wants what you got. Whatever that means to you, Aries, it's it's coming up here. Like there's a lot of demand for what you have, but it seems like you're constantly having to, it's like you're never finished, you're never finished, you're never finished, you're never finished. So that could be what's coming up here. Or someone around you could be going through that energy, maybe a good friend, maybe a family member. That could be happening as well. There may be something about your diet that has to be revised, okay? I'm hearing reduce your alcohol. And if you don't drink alcohol, it may be anything that has any type of acidic type of um, nature to it. Reduce the acid, increase your alkalinity is what I'm hearing. How that just came out of the Eight of Pentacles, I don't know, but it did. 
All right, so let's move on to the beautiful Leo's. Okay, Leo's, this is really interesting. You knew exactly what they were up to. Yes, you did, Leos. You knew exactly what they were up to the whole time. And you just walked right past it. No skin off your back, Leo. But Leo, this was, um, this could also be somebody else in your life. And there's something here, Leo, about walking the walk and talking the talk. So if you promise somebody something, you better follow through. Um, because if you take that back, you could ruin everything. Okay. So just know Leo's, if you've promised somebody something, um, either they're going to come back and they're going to say, okay, time to, time to ante up on the promise or the favor or whatever, like they're going to get payback. Okay. Or like something that needs to be done. Like you promised them that you were going to do it. That needs to be done. Leo, that needs to be done. And, you know, it, it may take you a while to do it. It may take a lot of hard work. It may take a lot of, um, you know, it may take construction. It may take um, building something or hanging something or or reproducing something, okay? But, Leo, some, someone's holding your feet to the fire. All right, just want to let you know that, okay? Sages, what do we got going on with you? Okay, Sages, you're kind of going through a point right now where you're busy with enough stuff. It ain't your problem. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot of say, Sages saying, well, that ain't my problem. Okay, because um, it ain't my problem and it never is or it never was. This is like not my monkey, not my circus. Okay, Um Or is it not my circus, not my monkey? Yeah, that's what it is. Not my circus, not my monkey. Basically meaning that um, somebody 100 miles away is putting up a circus tent and they have you know, chimpanzees, they've got monkeys, they've got elephants, they've got lions, they've got everything there. And then the monkey goes all crazy and ruins everything on the inside of the tent. And they're calling you 100 miles away and they're saying, this is your fault. And you're like, not my circus, not my monkey. I don't know how else to describe it, but, um, yeah. So anyway, that's kind of the way that you, you're like, look, I've got enough on my plate. If you think I'm going to take on your problems that you created, you have got another thing coming. Ain't happening. Let me see if I'm getting anything else here. Oh, fuzzy slippers. <laughs> Some of you Sagittarius's just love your fuzzy slippers. Or there might be something regarding fuzzy slippers, fuzzy or slippers, but it, I'm, I'm hearing fuzzy slippers, so. I am so glad I am out of there. That is exactly what you're thinking. I'm so glad I'm out of there. That was just a mess. That was just a freaking train wreck. And that kind of goes back to not my circus, not my monkey. That's what that is. You are cutting bait, Sages, or you are not allowing yourself to be negatively affected by other people's failures. Okay. You're making them take accountability for what they created. You're not there to clean it up for them. All right. Okay, everyone. I hope you like this reading. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.